Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything. I've got Jimmy with me today. What's up, man? What's up, guys? And we have the light object chiller over here. We have not opened this box at all. This is straight from the factory. So we're gonna go ahead and get it unboxed for you. Are you stoked to see this thing? Oh yeah. It's, it's big. It's heavy. It's really big. So um, I think we should just get it up on the table first so these guys can actually yep. see. Okay, so here's the box, guys, and we're just gonna go ahead and try to get this open. Whoa. Nice. Okay, all right, so maybe a flip, a flip, a flippy upside downy. Can we get these out? Let's get these out. Just pop these out. Look at that. That's pretty. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> this is gonna be a real short unboxing. So I'll lift and you get Don't rid of showing that on there. No, you lift. And what, me yelling at you? Yeah. I'm gonna yell. I'll oh, beat I'm gonna your, throw it up. I will beat I'm your preview. I'm gonna beat your. What are we doing here? I don't know. Lift, lifting it. Oh, God. Mother. <laughs> it gets us going on the couch. There you go. Oh, man, this thing's heavy. Okay. Wow. Wow, look at that. Woo. That's cool. Uh, so let's so, see the front. Show everybody I mean, the front. Let's just look, look at the boring stuff first. I mean, we got the, uh, so just a bag here first. Let's take a look at this. Just the power cable. Yep, power cable. And uh, this is an aviation connector, uh, probably to wire in. So if you, if you wire up your laser the right way with the controller, it will tell your laser when it's on it's or not on or not and then on. it won't fire yeah yep. so that's what this connector is for no wiring though just the just the connector itself and then uh we have the instructions let's just take a look at the instructions real quick. q series water chiller instructions startup procedures how to fill it how to use it controller looks pretty simple see that's kind of what i was telling yep. you it's got like the up and down buttons yep so simple right yep uh Cautions and conditions, blah, blah, blah. So this is what you get, guys. So you get this, it's got some troubleshooting on it, and then just very, very basic instructions. I'm assuming it's pretty easy to use. So uh, that's the instructions. Now let's take a look at the actual chiller itself. Whew. All right, we can sit now. <laughs> there it is, guys. Um, it's huge. It's really big. Um, but it's not, I don't know if it's bigger than... No, it is. It's bigger than the, it's the more SNA. It's more square. It's more square for yep. sure. Um, and around the front, we've got the, uh, here, come check this out. So around the front, we've got a water gauge here. Yep. And that's nice. It's on the front. When you plug it in, I'm pretty sure it lights up. Oh, nice. So you can actually see the water level inside of there. The front panel's really clean. You got a nice little button setter up here. The buttons are clicky. Yep. So here's your control panel, guys. It's got a set and over, which I'm assuming is for select, and a down and an up button, which is uh, pretty straightforward. And then we've got these compartments on the side, that are like panels. If you press down. Oh, nice, these pop right out. Hey, yep. look wow. at that. Oh, look at that. Nice. Man. That's pretty cool. So you actually have direct access to everything inside of here. So over on the right hand side here, we've got our power supplies. Uh, we have a compressor. Everything's nice and foamed over so it don't condensation. Yep, here's the tank on this side. That's so let's, nice. let's flip it. Over here, we've got our water tank and you can see more of the compressor, compressor lines. Everything is insulated, really yep. nice. Very which nice. Which is super cool. And our water lines are here. They are zip tied on which is not the best, but it's fine, it'll do. And then up here, this is our fill valve. So we can actually take this cap off here, this blue cap, much bigger than an SNA. Oh yeah. Right, so uh, a lot more space to fill that up without making a huge mess. I like it, she's Pretty heavy sick. duty. We gotta plug it in, let's plug it in. Nice. That's really nice unit too. Yep. The radiator, yep. there's a lot of separate little compartments there for cooling, so you know she's gonna cool really nice. That's a really nice. And then you got compressor, you have your power supplies, you got your wiring for your controller. Here are your inlet and outlets. Pretty sturdy, pretty heavy duty as a matter of fact. Your two fans, they're on the inside behind the chiller. 
Here you got your inlet, your outlet, your AC in, your two fans, your alarm, your drain, and your fill. Pretty heavy duty. Yeah, I like these fans too. Yep. These fans look really good. Yeah, I can't wait to turn this thing on. Here's another view of the fill valve, by the way, the, the little fill cap thing. Uh, this is just like really big, guys. This looks so much easier to fill. <laughs> and take care of, but I know that you really want to turn it on though. You yeah. want to get this plugged in let's and turn, turn it on? Let's turn this baby on. All right, let's turn it on and take a look at uh, how it looks when it's powered up. Yeah. All right. What's up? So let's just get this sucker plugged in real quick here. Handy dandy outlet back here. You ready? Yeah, dude, pop it. Can I do the honors? Do the honors. All right. <laughs> There's no water. In it. I think it's pissed off that there's yeah. no water in it. So we should put some water in it. Correct. Okay. We're gonna put some water in this really quick. Oh, are those not are those open in yeah. the back? You got a piece of tube. Are you gonna just loop it from one yep. the out to the in? Yep. Smart boy. Nice tight fit. That's what you want. There we go. Look at that. That's a nice nice life hack right there. Yep. Very nice. Well done, sir. Because it's not already heavy enough, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, but look how easy it is. Oh, yeah. So pour that. I don't even have to aim. Just... <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I, I made a mess. Now it's my turn to yell. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but Will it go when the water's that low? I don't know. We're going to find out right now. So let's go ahead and put our cap back on. Jimmy did the uh, masterful loop back here so that we actually can test this without making more of a mess all over the floor than I already have. And let's see what it does. Oh, look at that. Nice and quiet. Is it going up here? Is that lit up? Does that light up? Yeah, I thought you can see there's a blue light down there. Is that lit up down there? Yep. Yeah. Should we blue. kill the lights so that yeah, it would be I want to see the it? I want to see the blue light. It's not very bright, is it? Not very bright, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? But if we pull the panel, is it did it maybe get knocked down or something? Oh, really? Maybe it's because the water. Is, yeah, it's just the way. Maybe it it's is. the water. Maybe, maybe the, the water is just so low that the the light isn't traveling up. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. So maybe we'll add some more water. Yep. Dude, this thing's like super quiet. Well, the fans haven't kicked on yet. True, but I'd like to hear that. There's just no water in that tube yet, man. No, uh, I gotta hold it to the tube just like that. It's and just I... coming up. The water's just coming up. Is that easier to see when the water's behind it? Yep. There you go. Look at that. She's up there now. Let me see it on camera. We can't use... You guys can't see it on camera. We'll, we'll get a close-up for you. So what we're doing, guys, is we're using our tape here to just kind of hold this in place because we should be able to see you can see that water level is nice and bright but when we let go it's it's kind of more difficult to see there so we're going to just use a piece of tape to hold it together dude this is quieter than mine even when the fans aren't kicking on so here's our fix for the the light guys just a small piece of duct tape uh, and it just sits right below the led to hold it up against the water and uh, that makes it nice and bright on the front so here's the front and you can see the water level, the uh, meniscus of the water right there, nice and clear and uh, actually pretty easy to read. So two gallons. It is pretty quiet, right? It's very quiet. Like the quiet. pump itself, pumping the yep. water through is quiet. It's got good pressure too when yep. we're squeezing the, the line here. Yep. Uh, it's got good pressure. So let's see how easy this thing is to set. Let's see if I can do it without instructions. Actually, you can turn that down, right? So the, there it goes. And now the fans are kicking on, so we'll get an audio level on this. I'll take this home with me and I'll I'll run this for a while and see how it works. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. And you're right directly behind it. And man, this, those are nice fans. They are nice. Those are really nice fans. Quieter than the SNA? Yep. Oh yeah, for sure. Yep. And it's not by the SNA like vibrates? Yep. This is not vibrating at all. Yep. Very nice. Okay guys, so uh, in front of the unit here, about 65 decibels. And in the back of the unit where the fans are, 
about 80 when you're right next to it. That's about 80 different. when you're right next to it. So we just went and tested the SNA 5200 and we were getting about 65 decibels in the front while the fans were running and about 95 in the back. So it's a little bit quieter. It's not a yep. huge difference, yep. but it's a little bit quieter, which is nice. Yep. The thing that I really like about, about this unit in particular, just from the initial unboxing, is that we have access to everything yep. inside it. Both That's side nice. panels pop off really easy. You don't have to undo screws. You know, you just push these down, pop it open, and boom, you're there. Yeah. You can clean out anything you need to clean out. They got nice, um, like filters. They got nice filters on them right there on both sides. They're not, not just so one. thick either that it's going to restrict airflow, which exactly. would be a concern for me. Yeah. Um, they they seem like they'll let the heat out, especially on this side where we have the compressor. Yeah. So that compressor is going to get hot. You know, it's going to generate some heat. So uh, it's a nice thin mesh, but it's enough to keep like the big dust bunnies out. So what do you think of the, uh, the the light object chiller unit, man? I think this is, let me just double check. <laughs> just wanna make sure. Uh, this is the 800 watt. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I actually like the way, the shape of this a lot better than the 5200. Yeah. It's, this is more square. It's, it's the little, it's taller than the 5200, but it's square. And I kind of like, in the, I'm digging the square. More yeah, so like than a, like a kind of like a cubic right shape to it. That's kind of I mean, cool. I'm, even if it's bigger, even if it has a larger footprint, I'm okay with that for yep. this. Me too. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is the best part. Dude. Look, you can make this double the size. It's not really going to much matter. It's what goes in it that counts. Yeah, yeah. The radiator looks really nice. Uh, the the compressor looks really nice. Everything is insulated really yep. well, so it should be nice and power efficient. Um, of course. We will do some testing with this and uh, we'll publish a full review for you guys. This is just the unboxing, but uh, we hope that you enjoyed hanging out with us for a little bit. We hope that you think this is cool. I think this is rad. I think this is awesome. The only thing that I, I like feel like needs improvement at the moment is just like that lighting system. I feel like that could be a lot brighter in the front. Yeah, but the, you, yeah. The, the one I saw at Light Objects facility while we were there was like, we the room was lit up with like fluorescent lights and you could see it. Gotcha. And this one, I just feel like even when it's dark, you know, <clears throat> it's just so dim when you, I mean, it's okay. I guess, I guess it's all right. It's, it's hard to, it's hard to quantify that, but, yep. um, yeah, now we need to hook this up to the ohm tech for yep. the full review. And we're gonna have to deal with this, your little loop, yeah. your little loop situation no big back deal. here. Pop her off and away you go. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Laser Everything. If you got value out of it, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time Jimmy and I do an unboxing video. If you guys love the channel and you want to support it, go check out the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel. We've got bonus episodes over there, bonus live streams, bonus episodes of the podcast, and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's a great community. You can find out all about it over at masters.lasereverything.net. We've got a lot more unboxings to do. Are you ready to do the next one? Absolutely. All right, guys, that's all we've got for this one, but we will see you in the next one. Peace. Done. Nice. Nice. That's a nice. That's a real nice.